in this video we are going to discuss about networking types so what are the kinds of networks networks are further classified into various types depending upon the size the expanse the security and also the purpose or many other purposes involved in here the first one is local area network which we called as lan network covering a limited geographical area such as a building a floor or a campus lan usually has a high data transfer rate so lan has the high data transfer rate and ethernet channels most commonly used in this technology in lans coming to wide area network which is called wan networks covering a large geographical area such as multiple cities or multiple countries or even across the world they are used to connect lands across the area they cover that means land is land will cover a geographical uh, area such as like floors or buildings or stairs so based on this the ethernet channel standards are used for high data transfer rate coming to wan wan are used in a geographical area different cities or different countries which are again connected through lan here so coming to the internetworking models so how many types of internetworking models are there in the networks as the importance of networks or computers grew vendors recognized need of networking them so as the computers grew the data transfer has has high in demand so the network concept has come into picture so due to that they created various protocols whose specifications were not made public that means the specifications of the protocols which they created are not made public because of that each vendor has different ways of networking computers and these were not compatible with each other and also based on the international organization of standardization iso started a common working open standard networking model that has to be followed by all the computer networking companies so because of that vendors would support to promote their interoperability that means the compatibility different vendors have different proto protocols which are only amended to those companies which made the, the the networking concept more complicated so based on that the international organization of standardization has brought up or took up a small initiative to create an open standard networking model so that all the vendors follow that model and all the interoperability has been successful here so this standard was published in 1984 and was known as open systems interconnection model osi model so this osi model got introduced in 1984 and due to this the vendors has to follow that model so that the interoperability becomes successful so again simultaneously after this during the same time between 1973 and 1985 another effort made by dapra which is defense advanced research projects agency has underway to create a new model and that model is similar like open standard network model which is called tcp ip model this network model came to know as tcp ip model by 1985 this model started gaining more prominence and it's it replaced osi model and got more support from vendors eventually so based on the more dominance and more operability the tcp ip model replaced by osi model so that this tcp ip model is approved by all vendors and due to this the improbability in operability got successful here so coming to the osi model and its layers tcp ip model and its layers will be discussed in the next videos